Oh, hi there, kids. Welcome back. You know, I was just thinking, do you know why Australians are such confident baseball players? It's because they're always being told, good day. Get it? Good day. Good day? <laughs> it's, it's an Australian thing. Never mind. Well, today, boys and girls, I want to tell you a Bible story about a man who was not very confident. Remember, confidence means trust or a feeling of assurance or certainty. Now, who thinks they know what is hidden under here? Let's take a peek. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, I was right. If you guessed that this is a fan, then you guessed correctly. Now, that was pretty easy, I know. Even though you couldn't see the fan, you could still see the effects of the fan blowing air causing the cloth here to move, right? Well, we'll get back to the fan in just a minute. Now, let's turn in our Bibles to the book of John, chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. Today's story is about a man named Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a religious leader called a Pharisee, and he wanted to learn more about this Jesus he had heard about. But you know what Nicodemus did? He decided to go see Jesus at night, probably because he didn't want anyone to see him. Now, I don't know about you, but if I saw someone sneaking around in the dark, I would have to say they probably weren't a very confident person. And I think it's safe to say that Nicodemus was not confident, but he was curious. He wanted to know the truth about Jesus. Now, Nicodemus was confident that God sent Jesus, but he thought he was just another prophet, not the Son of God, the Messiah himself. Remember how we saw the wind and knew there was a fan underneath? Well, Nicodemus had seen the miracles Jesus did and knew they could only be done through God's power. Just like we saw the effects of the fan, Nicodemus saw the effects of God's power, miracles. So Jesus responded to Nicodemus in a very unusual way. Well, let's look at John chapter 3, Verse three, Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again to see God's kingdom. Nicodemus was really confused. He asked Jesus, well, how can a man be born when he's already old? How can he go back inside his mother to be born a second time? Jesus explained that being born again involves a reborn spirit, not a physical birth. God makes a person's life brand new. Jesus used the example of the wind to help Nicodemus understand better. Jesus explained that when the wind blows, you can hear it and you can feel it, but you can't see it. That's how it is for a person who is born again. Again, Nicodemus was confused. How can these things be, he asked Jesus. So Jesus began to teach Nicodemus many things. He wanted Nicodemus to have confidence in who he was and why God sent him. Jesus explained that God sent him down from heaven to save people. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, Jesus, so that the whole world might be saved through him. Nicodemus wanted to know the truth about Jesus. Jesus explained with confidence that God sent him to earth to save people from their sins. So let's review today's memory link and talk about how you can have confidence that God sent Jesus to save you from sin. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son 
that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. Here's the confidence you can experience when you know the truth from God's word. God not only loves each person in the world, but he loves each of you. He knows you. He created you. But you have a problem. You were born with sin, and there's nothing you can do on your own to change that. But God loves you so much that he gave his only son, Jesus, to take the punishment for your sins. On the cross, Jesus suffered and died because of your sin. By accepting what God has said in the Bible and trusting Jesus to save you from your sins, you can be born again. You can know with confidence that you are forgiven and made new. All you have to do is admit that you have sinned. Believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and choose to make him your forever friend. This fan kind of illustrates what happens in your life when you choose to make Jesus your forever friend. When Jesus changes your life, other people can see the effects of God's Spirit living within you by the way you talk, act, and live your life, just like we can see the effects of the fan blowing on this cloth. God changes people from the inside out when we ask Him to forgive us of our sins. That's how you can have confidence in Jesus' power to forgive your sins. It is how we behave or act on the outside because of how Jesus changed us on the inside. Oh, and um, just before we close, what do you call a black and yellow insect that isn't overly confident? Well, it's called a humble bee, of course. <laughs> okay, kids, thanks for joining us. And remember, Jesus loves you, and Pastor Mark does too.